from KTUL. You're watching Tulsa's Channel 8 News at 10. First to 10 exclusive video as a Tulsa police officer opens fire on a suspect. Tonight, we hear from the eyewitness who saw it all. Police say the shooting victim was armed and recently called a suicide hotline. Right now, suicide is a big issue for Tulsa police, some putting officers in dangerous situations. The gunfire erupted outside a quick trip store at 21st and 129th East Avenue. Tonight, exclusive video of a shooting that left one man recovering in a hospital. A busy quick trip, an armed man, and the number of police officers is growing. You could hear them all kind of talking, but there wasn't a lot of screaming. Not, not like you see in the movies. Teacher it Michael Wheelis recorded that eerie silence, broken up by one shot. Police injuring the armed man who lay wounded, waiting for an ambulance. Tell me what went through your mind when you heard the gunshot. Right when I heard the gunshot, uh, just because after the gunshot there wasn't much commotion, I thought that it was almost like a warning shot. As dozens of police cars surrounded the armed man, after the shot, Wheelis said I no felt one. Like they handled the situation great. Now, Wheelis suggested that police make information on violent crimes more available to the public and earlier. I took his question to officers, and they said that they do the best they can to get information out to the public while still respecting the investigations. My name ain't OJ, but yeah, I did it. Here tonight, a man is behind bars in connection with a triple stabbing in southeast Tulsa. Chuck Davis is accused of assault with intent to kill. Police say a fight broke out between a man, his girlfriend, and two of her relatives yesterday. He was treated for cuts before his arrest. Caught on camera in East Tulsa, a man armed with a gun robs the Brandywine Liquor Store at 41st and 129th East Avenue. He walked up and demanded cash. Surveillance video shows him waving the gun around in front of him. A witness saw the man get into a white car with an Indian Nation tag. If you know anything about this, call Crime Stoppers 596 COPS. Kidnapping, rape, and lewd molestation. A man accused of attacking a 12-year-old girl in Glenpool is formally charged. According to court documents, Kevin Smith took the girl to a remote location and raped her in January of 2013. Police mm -hmm. caught Smith when DNA from an attempted abduction at a lemonade stand linked him to the crime. Tonight, the search is on for a Claremore man charged with jury tampering in a recent murder trial. The Rogers County DA's office says an arrest warrant is out for 22-year-old Christian Cargill. He's accused of telling an alternate juror during a murder trial that he should vote not guilty in the case. The alternate juror reported the incident was removed. The case involved Vance Wright, who was convicted of first-degree murder for the 2011 death of Kelsey Bray. Three courthouses in Oklahoma evacuated due to threats. They include the Creek County Courthouse in Sepulpa, the Cleveland County Courthouse in Norman, and Grady County Courthouse in Chickasha. Officials described the threats in Grady and Creek counties as bomb threats. Now, each courthouse reopened before noon. The Creek County Sheriff says there is no evidence that these threats are connected. Now to the fallout from your voice, your vote. To everyone who voted, I want you to know that I hear you. To the two-thirds of voters who chose not to participate in the process yesterday, I hear you too. Tonight, Washington scrambling to figure out what you did or didn't decide. Small percentage of voters determine Tuesday's midterm elections and who will be making some serious decisions. Channel 8's Ethan Calloway is here to explain what many are calling a growing epidemic, Ethan. And Mark, that epidemic is lower and lower voter turnout, and it's leading many to ask the question, why aren't people voting? <laughs> It was a night of celebration for those coming out on top and reflection for those coping with a loss. But the number of votes that got them to their respective finish lines was stunningly low. Less than 40% of Tulsa County's registered voters cast a ballot. Among younger voters, it was even less. It's absolutely clear that the policymakers are on the forefront of decision making uh, as it relates to our community. And Regan says he's optimistic more young people will turn out to vote in the future. Ethan Calloway, Tulsa's Channel 8. Ethan, thanks. Uh, the Channel 8 spoke with the Tulsa County Board of Elections today. They tell us they're prepared for 90% voter turnout, but worry they'll never see that. Republicans gained full control of Congress after seizing the Senate majority for the first time since 2007. President Obama says he's looking forward to working with the Republicans. As a likely Senate majority leader, Mitch McConnell is vowing to get things done. Both sides are trying to interpret yesterday's results. Number one, they're obviously not satisfied with the direction of the administration. Uh, but at the same time, I heard a lot of discussion about dysfunction 
in Washington. What stands out to me, though, is that uh, the American people sent a message, uh, one that they've sent for several elections now. They expect the people they elect to work as hard as they do. Next, the president is calling for Congress to act on immigration reform. And now, the first forecast in the Oklahoma Ford Storm Center. With clearing skies across the area, temperatures are beginning to drop pretty quickly. Some spots already in the 30s. Most locations could see a dramatic cold snap moving in. Country power couple Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton took home five honors, including Male and Female Vocalist of the Year. Blake is from Ada, Oklahoma, and the couple currently lives near Tishomingo. I recently traveled to that town about three hours south of Tulsa and learned everyone benefits when celebrities adopt a small community. It's been a quiet, uh, small uh, southern Oklahoma town. There's only one growing pain. Well, you don't find a parking spot in Tishiringo on the weekends. I mean, we park behind the store. <laughs> nice problem to have, huh? In three years, this extra tourism has helped increase Tishomingo's sales tax income by 20%. And that money is helping build a new fire station and update City Hall. As a small thank you, the local Chamber of Commerce took out this full page ad in the local paper, wishing Miranda and Blake the best of luck at tonight's CMA Awards. For the first time in 17 years, Garth Brooks is bringing his world tour to Tulsa. The Oklahoma Star will perform three concerts at the BOK Center. Dates Thursday, January 15th through Saturday, January 17th next year. Tickets go on sale Friday, November 14th at 10 a.m. All seats are $70. One of the hardest tickets to get every year is for the annual Christmas train, and this year appears to be no different. They're sold out tonight. Tickets went on sale last night at midnight, and organizers say they sold 50,000 tickets in 10 hours. Located in Dry Gulch, the train shares the true story of Christmas. We, we checked tonight. Tickets are already appearing online, but be careful. Last year, church officials deleted scalpers' <laughs> posts to avoid any fraud. Well, tonight marks 50 days until Christmas, but the North Pole's already arrived in South Tulsa. Today marks Santa's arrival at Woodland Hills Mall. And as Channel 8's Burt Mumolo reports, it's never too early for jolly old St. Nick. Easy if you're good. With Christmas still bad, 50 days good. away, initially the theme of this story was going to be, can you believe that Santa is already here? Come on around and come and see me. Initially. Anything else you want for Christmas? Because five seconds after you see him in action. A diamond one. Wow, a real one? You wonder what's taking Ooh. him so long to come back. A horsey, what color do you want? A brown one or a white one or a black one? That one. First in line to see him this year, Landon, Sophia, and KK. Is she doing like a Santa impression? <laughs> First to present Santa with some original art, Bella. This is a picture for Santa. First to have a nuclear meltdown, Bella's sister, Skylar. <laughs> It's okay. And being the first day, there's plenty of downtime. Because, okay, no, it is no, November 5th. Do you have a family? No, just me. Oh, how lonely is that? <laughs> <laughs> bring me a family, Chris. Santa. That's what I'll bring you for Christmas. <laughs> Giving Santa plenty of time to chat Tulsa and reflect nice. on things. Like the fact that he'll be hearing that carousel tune. For 53 days. <laughs> while also reflecting in a somewhat surprising manner, given the surroundings, yeah, on the funny. season itself. People are always spending and looking for something new all the time without accepting and, and enjoying what they have. Yes, it's only November 5th, and Santa is already here. But if you're feeling humbug about it... Hello, what's your name? Just remember that magical feeling Santa inspires, and that whatever age you're at, he'll try to make your wish come true. Blonde brunette. <laughs> or Mumolo, tells us Channel 8. Thank you, Bert. Santa is on the lower level near Dillard's. The hours vary, but he'll be there until Christmas Eve. Are you looking for that perfect Christmas gift? A Sam's Club Black Friday ad leaked online, showing them selling the new iPhone 6 for 99 bucks. That's $100 off the current retail price for the 16-gig version. 
Cheap gas prices have apparently reignited America's love affair with SUVs and trucks. Sales of both types shot up in October as gas prices slid below $3 a gallon across much of the country. Meanwhile, sales of small fuel-efficient models have tumbled along with those prices at the gas pump. Whether you live in downtown Tulsa or the country, Oklahomans can agree on one thing. We love our trucks. More people drive trucks here in Oklahoma than 44 other states. 2015 models are out now, and there's a lot to like and choose from. So we sent Channel 8's Keith Taylor to check them out. What? With Christmas just around the corner, it's very likely that someone out there has got a new truck on their wish list for Santa. To help you make that choice, we got the folks from Chevy, from Ford, from Toyota, from GMC, and from Ram all to come by to show off their new rides. Hopefully we made it easier so you can get that truck of your dreams. Keith Taylor, Tulsa's Channel 8. Now, your forecast in the Oklahoma Ford Storm Center. And we have some great weather for cruising on the roadways here over the next few days. Drier conditions moving in. Our skies are clearing out and it's going to be a chilly night tonight, especially during the early morning hours. We're tracking another cold front, which will be arriving early in the morning. It looks like this cold snap will stick around for a number of Ooh. days falling into next week. Thank you, Jennifer. Right. Still ahead, the unusual world record set on the golf course. Whoa! tonight proving that everything really is bigger in Texas <laughs> much God. much bigger God. take a look at this <laughs> a golfer in Dallas Why? set a new world record for swinging the longest usable golf club yeah that's that counts as usable this limo video shows how he swung the 20 foot six inch driver he hit the ball 63 yards in the air now for some perspective I looked at the Guinness world record for the longest drive in a competition it's 515 yards so that club has a way to go <laughs> as far as distance is concerned you should see the golf bag oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about that. That's our news tonight. Thanks for watching. <laughs>